this is your boy, Lord Thaddeus Cray. What's this one going to be about? It's going to be about something that I mentioned I was going to do. This is about another type of well, potential Bigfoot or Sasquatch. <coughs> Excuse me. It is about the Almacy. This is a creature that has been spotted in the Siberian wa wastes or wastelands. And what I mean by wastelands is nothing but tundra and forest. Almost completely uninhabitable by any human being. At least now without some serious, serious equipment as well as the ability to adapt. There's no way in hell a normal person can live out in that area. Of course, you have to understand, back in the uh, days of the uh, Soviet Union, the gulags were out there. So make no mistake, <laughs> the, that area is almost inhospitable to human beings. However, to a creature that is very hardy, as well as intelligent enough to quite literally make that area their own, or maybe even live off the land, that's another story. <coughs> The Almasy is quite literally, I believe in the Russian language, it means hairy human, or hairy man. There have been stories of soldiers, just like the giant of Kandahar. There have been soldiers who have told their stories of finding these creatures in caves. <coughs> and of course, something like this raises a serious problem. And they had to defend themselves, and they had to kill this thing, quick. But it was not easy to kill. That right there is something beyond human. Do I believe it could be a Bigfoot or a Sasquatch? Very much so, yes. I believe very firmly it could be of that vein, and then some. I'm going to tell you why. There have been stories, among them was of a... Uh, bear with me, because the details are not fresh in my mind. I'm not reading this, I'm just going by memory from the things I've studied. From what I remember, <coughs> excuse me, there was a village that had captured a female, one of these creatures, and supposedly they, they broke her. They literally broke her spirit, and she became a servant of the people in the village, and at times a sex slave as well. And many of the men naturally would have their way with her. And physically, she's stronger than any human being, so naturally they would use her for hard labor. And you have to understand something. The people in this village were dirt poor. I mean, truly poor. So if there was something they could exploit, and make their lives a little easier, but you have to understand human nature. They're going to do it. I sure as hell ain't condoning such actions. As I said, I've never ever condoned such actions. But I can understand why people did it. Make their lives easier, as well as ways to alleviate their boredom. Now here's the catch right here. <clears throat> Supposedly this creature had children. She would try to, of course, wash her babies to clean them up after she gave birth to them, let's say a river or a creek. You have to understand something. Again, you're talking about... <laughs> bear with me on that. Sorry. I was going to say, bear with... What I'm trying to tell you is this. You're dealing with a creature that lived in very cold temperatures. The people lived in very cold temperatures. So naturally, when she would try to bathe her babies, they were half human. It would drown them. They would die from the cold. Where, of course, had it been a pure blood one of these creatures, probably wouldn't have been a hitch. She did this, I think, twice before the villagers stepped in and said, uh-uh, we ain't gonna allow her to do this no more. Because, of course, she's, she's going by instinct. You can't blame her for that. <coughs> and this is something that her people did. So, suffice to say, supposedly, there were, <coughs> I think, two children. I know there was one. There may have been two that were raised by the villagers. And supposedly... Uh, he was very homely, to say the least. He looked basically pretty awful. However, he did, he was able to pass for human. He was stockier than your average individual, hairier, and supposedly had a real high-pitched voice. But he was definitely part of, you know, these people's lives. And supposedly, the creature died either, either from disease or old age, I don't know. They buried her. Now, I'm not sure if they were able to get samples from the creature, supposedly, where it was buried, but I do know they got samples from the sun, supposedly. Now, I don't know the, re I, the thing is, I don't know the results and if they were even conclusive with anything. 
I do know that certain tests were done supposedly. Now, of course, you have to understand, cover-ups do happen, as well as the fact that sometimes just things get lost to the sands of time. But I wanted to put that out there, the story of the Almasi. Very interesting, to say the least, these creatures. And like I said, obviously they're creatures that either either some type of subspecies of Sasquatch that have adapted to these very horrific environments. It's like the Yeti, if you know what I'm talking about. I think the Yeti is another version of this creature, of course. I'll be getting into that one later. But I wanted to put this one out. You guys know what I do. I am the producer for Dark Waters Entertainment. My email is wesvic at dogman. No, sorry about that. My email is wesvic at imdarkwaters.com. If you've had a cryptid sighting, experience, or a paranormal one, hit me up. I'll be glad to make sure you have the chance to get your story told or tell your story on your own terms. Until then, you guys be blessed and be safe.